Hello, fragrance specialists! My name is Chance, welcome to my guide, and thank you so much for taking another look at one of our essential oil breakdowns. Today, we're going to be taking a look at one of the holier essential oils, right up there with sacred frankincense. We're looking at holy basil. Now, this is one I personally own and have used several times in the past. I just like it. It tends to blend well with a lot of citrus and a lot of mint-related oils, which I commonly use anyways. So it just blends well with most of my collection, and it's relatively cheap, and I don't know, I just kind of like it. In any case, before we dive into the profile, please do remember, always consult your doctor before use. You might be particularly allergic to something and never know, so please do consult them and always follow proper dilution and best practices. Now let's take a look at its profile here. Its scent is most commonly described as having a warm, spicy, and sweet aroma. Its uses are as followed. Muscular spasms, respiratory conditions, cramps, menstrual issues, headache, and mental and physical fatigue. I personally find the mental fatigue thing is particularly, um, it, it's, it's almost particularly geared towards that, I think. I work long hours, and this particular oil really helps me refocus. In terms of the method of Extraction, it is unsurprisingly most commonly steam distilled and it blends well with bergamot, lemon, orange, peppermint, and winter green. Under notes, you'll see that it is a possible skin irritant, as with virtually every essential oil. So, please, once again, do make sure you're following dilution and best practices. Now, let's dive into its history. Holy basil is an aromic perennial plant. It is native to the Indian subcontinent and it is widespread as a cultivated plant throughout the Southeast Asian tropics. Holy basil has been used in Aruvia and Seda practices for its supposed treatment of diseases. For centuries, the dried leaves have been mixed with stored grains to repel insects. Very cool stuff. I haven't seen it used in very many insect repellents, although I suppose it makes sense. So, in any case, let's take a look at a simple DIY recipe. This is stimulating scalp oil, and the recipe is 3 drops holy basil, 3 drops rosemary, 1 drop lemon, 1 teaspoon castor oil, and 1 teaspoon avocado oil. And then just mix in to your shampoo or conditioner and use regularly. It really is quite a simple recipe. In any case, if you like holy basil, if you're running low, or if you want to experiment with it, please do consider ordering from Rocky Mountain Oils, links down beneath in the description. And as always, if you have any thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, or really anything to say, please do so down beneath in the comment section. And please also don't hesitate to include any recipes you have involving this particular oil. That being said, I hope you all have a great day, and as always, may all of your future endeavors smell divine.